Well, I promised more vlogging, and particularly from the kitchen diner, and here we are. Uh, I have uh, this uh, new fruit punch. It's actually from a from a mix, but if you mix a little bit of fruit punch with uh, mix the fruit punch mix with the uh, a little bit of uh, iced tea, you come up with a really great drink. Well, that's not what I'm here. What I'm here is this. It's uh, let me give you a time and date stamp. Because uh, <laughs> what's, what's been going on. It's 7 hours and 48 minutes into the day of Monday, September 29th. Uh, that's right, I haven't slept yet. I haven't been to bed yet. What I did do is, um, as I was working on things, uh, waiting for the computer to do its stuff, uh, I decided to bake. And what I wanted to do is I wanted to make banana coconut brownies. And that's what I did. And here they are here. This is the banana <laughs> coconut brownie. I have a bit of a piece of it. Very, very good. Mm. It has the coconut. It can taste the banana. And it's nice and chocolatey. Mm. So I'm very, I'm very happy with the way it came out. And what I decided to do was a little different than I usually do it. Normally. I use, uh, normally I use Crisco. I use Crisco. Mm. Very good. I use Crisco to uh, grease my pans because if you don't grease the pans, they'll stick. But I ended up melting down too much butter to put in the, to put into the uh, brownies, so I decided with the, instead of just tossing the leftover bu the butter, then I'd grease the pan with the leftover butter, and particularly for chocolate brownies and chocolate cake, uh, greasing the pan with butter was I think the best decision I've ever made because it really really brings out the flavor of the chocolate brings out the flavor of the, of, the, of, of the banana. It gives you a good coconutty flavor in here. In other words. Uh, if you've got bananas lying around, or old fruit, not really old fruit, but fruit that may be not good enough to eat, but, you know, you don't want to toss it out. Well, you can bake it into a cake, you can bake it into brownies, and if you know how to get the consistency right, and that's exactly what it did here, I had a, a basic idea of the, of, of, the, of the recipe, but again, it's, 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 it's village style. It's if you know the consistency you need for brownies, you first get your mush, uh, your, your mix from um, from the um, from the fruit, and as you start, then you start adding the sugar to the fruit, and you start adding the bulk into the fruit until you get the consistency that you want in terms of the uh, the cake mix. Then you add your chocolate in, the butter, you know. In other words. You add in as you're going along, watching for the proper consistency. And what I do for the typically for the uh, I leave the flour till the end, and that's how I do it. And then I just sort of step in the flour, I mix, step it up, mix, put in more flour, mix, put in more flour, and I watch for the consistency. As the consistency goes gets gets to where I, where I think it should be there, then you add in your melted butter. And it adds a nice little sheen, a little, you know, nice little flavor to it. Another, you know, because if you, if you do your butter properly throughout the uh, cake mix, you melt the butter throughout the cake mix, then it actually really does 
uh, add a whole new layer of flavor uh, to your cake or the brownies that you're making here. So that's, you know, uh, I'm really happy with that. And I think that's where we're going to leave it here for now. <laughs> and I'll talk to you, uh, I don't know, next time. I'll show you what I'm, uh, I'll keep coming by and I'll show you what I make from the, uh, from the diner. So this is the uh, kitchen diner portion of uh, the BTS vlogs, and that's because I'm going to show you what I'm having here now. I'm going to finish watching uh, my Zoella, uh, my Zoella uh, marathon. I'm actually watching the more Zoella. I'm watching the vlogs, and then maybe about a half hour, 45 minutes, I'll go to bed. Anyways, I'll see you in a couple hours because I'm, I'm probably not going to sleep through, through uh, the eight hours. I'll probably sleep for about four or five hours get up, have something to eat, a vlog but more, and then try to finish my sleep. So, anyways, see you then. Alright. Well, uh, good morning everybody, or good afternoon, or whatever time of day it is for you. <laughs> uh, I decided to take a day off. Uh, well, let me give you date and time. Uh, here we go, here, here, our time and date stamp. Mm. It is 16 hours and 6 minutes into the day of Wednesday, October 1st, 2014. And this today officially kicks off of, of Vlogtober. And for those of you who are vloggers or maybe know, know about vlogging, know that every year well, the chance to replace a month and mix up the name with the term vlog, if you can do it, then uh, then, you, then then that's what you do. That's that's why we have Vlogtober. We have Vlogist or Veda, which is uh, vlogging every day in August, and also vlogging every day in April. So that's so there's April, there's August. There's October, then there's Vlogmas, which is you vlog for Christmas. So, when the opportunity arises for a vlogger to replace a month uh, or that or a period of time with the term vlog, you know, sort of mix it in. It certainly, it's certainly taken. And as I said before, for those of you who are commenting, ah, oh, he just yawned. It's not that professional to yawn. Well, as I said, this is a, a the reason why it's called BTS Vlogs is you're seeing behind the scenes is the life of a nerd. That's what's also called uh, uh, life, life the nerd. It's life of a nerd. I am a nerd. Uh, it's everything that's behind the scenes here. It's all the work that I'm doing. I don't really go anywhere. I, I, my, I see my life. I experience my life through my research desk. This is I'm at my research desk here, and it's long hours. It's typically my typical day is about twelve hour. It's a twelve hour day of studying. And it goes from ancient Greek and ancient languages to uh, heavy mathematics like path integrals. Uh, advanced calculus, uh, uh, calculus on spheres, calculus in complex planes in spaces, uh, multi-dimensional calculus, and that's also multi-variable calculus as well. And this has to do with physics, and particularly quantum mechanics. And rather than being, is it, well, am I a mathematician, mathematician, and no, I'm not a mathematician, um, I'm actually a physicist, a quantum physicist. And my job is to explore the universe. This would be akin to uh, Sheldon Cooper or Leonard Hofstetter. That's a uh, Big Bang Theory. This is one of the reasons why this show, <laughs> the told show is entitled uh, Big Bang Theory RL. Big Bang Theory RL stands for real life. This is a real life version of, of Big Bang Theory. I was happy when Big Bang Theory came around because I now had a way to explain to some, to explain to people what I do on a daily basis. You know, well, what do you do? Well, you know the show Big Bang Theory. Oh, yeah, 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 about the nerd. Yeah. Well, that's what I do. 
that's what I do. I'm a, I'm a real life version of Big Bang Theory. And so, uh, <laughs> as that explanation grew, uh, I realized this is how I put together the show. That's Big Bang Theory. And but I wasn't too sure how to put it together. It just as I was watching uh, a couple of years ago, as I was watching uh, Cassandra Ed Ebner of uh, Nerds Row, I was watching her channel and watching her vlog, and I say, oh, wow, you know, this is, the, you know, what you're doing, you're just simply describing what you do on a daily basis, and you're trying to sort of uh, connect with the audience, have a conversation with an audience. And if you're a person who likes these typical conversations, who likes reality shows, well, okay, that's that's cool, and it's just, all I have to do is be myself, you know, be here in front of the camera, talk to you guys, do my work, do my research, and voila, I'm vlogging, so... I've tried it out. Uh, uh, we're now at a hundred, but uh, um, before last year, I was stuck. At, uh, I was stuck under a hundred. I was stuck around between seventy and eighty. Now I'm kind of stuck at one thirty. I'm gonna try again to sort of increase uh, uh, my 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 uh, subscriber base. I'm gonna aim for two hundred. And I know we'll we'll see what happens. We'll see how things end up going. It's it, it's not an easy task to do to push your uh, envelope. Burr, burr. Well, in terms of where you are for subscribers, particularly if, if if you're not an attractive young teenager, and they're the ones who have the highest uh, uh, subs, if you're not one of those, or you're not one of these uh, sort of off the wall comedians, then in other words, you, you you're a standard nerd. Uh, then YouTube ends up in terms of the the, the high school you called YouTube, it, it ends up, the popularity ends up sort of. Uh, it becomes standard. It becomes what it usually is, a status quo, where the popular people have, have, have all the popularity, and the nerds, like, once again, your, <laughs> your popularity is, uh, is re reflects what, you're, what, it, what it is in real life. Your popularity online reflects your popularity in real life. So, but <laughs> it doesn't matter. It doesn't, for me, it doesn't matter. It's, as long as I'm here, having a good good time and I do enjoy a vlog I do enjoy talking to you people so uh, whoever's watching whoever's you know listening to this uh, so I'm here I'm, I'm, I'm taking a day off I'm a little tired so uh, I decided to take the day off because I've finished most of the work that I need to get done so before I start my next set of projects uh, I decided to take a day off and just and, and most of the day is or sort of my, my vacation time is uh, sleeping so once a month because uh, usually it's, it, my day is my work week is basically seven days a week of studying, uh, twelve-hour days. That's uh, and that's all studying. It's all research. That's all I do here. It's, it's like school for the rest of your life. But if you like that type of stuff, if you like studying, then yay. Because it's not nine to five. I'm not out in traffic at all. Uh, that's kind of because I have my own, my own institute and everything like that. So I, I, you know, I have a good time at it. So uh, I'm not upset or depressed about it. So you know. <laughs> I'm gonna watch some more TV. I have my I got my IP TV working very well now, uh, so I'll talk to you more about that when these new shows come around. So, uh, anyways, I'll see you later. Oh, hello everybody! Welcome back. <laughs> yeah, it's another segment of the BTS vlog. I'm never quite sure whether this is going to be in the beginning, at the end, and somewhere in the middle. Guys, you know, we do 30, 30 minutes of a vlog. 30 minutes. They come out in 30, se uh, 30 minute episodes. And these are just simply one segment of the 30 minutes. So I don't know where it's going to be in between. You know, I don't, I don't actually sort of map it out ahead of time where all the clips are going to be, so I don't know it's going to be at the beginning, at the end, or somewhere in the middle. So. Anyways, let me give you a time and date stamp. It is 22 hours and 17 minutes into the day of October, oh, 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 into the day of Wednesday, October 1st, 2014. And as I said before, this is the beginning of VEDA, the first day of, uh, no, VEDA, of uh, Vlogtober. And so... Uh, yeah, we'll be doing an entire month of vlogs. Uh, let me just get my timer started here. 
Uh, trying to keep this thing, like, try to keep our, our, our discussions, the segments, anyways, uh, under six minutes or, or thereabouts, around the six minute mark. So, like, have a timer so I know exactly, uh, well, not really exactly. I know when six minutes is up, and then I can say, oh, well, okay. You know, we've we've had enough of a discussion. As I said, this is, this is going to be one of many clips. The whole thing, the whole episode uh, is going to be 30 minutes in length. And uh, so this is one segment of, of, of the many inside the 30. Uh, so let's, say, let's assume here that each segment is six minutes in length. Six times uh, five is 30. So that uh, means we have five six-minute clips inside of uh, a 30-minute episode. So, uh, <laughs> so that's, that's kind of how we do things here now. Uh, I'm trying to, the whole goal here is to, it's the same, it's the, the, the assumption that you're tired of cable, that you don't want to keep uh, paying the increasing cost for cable, and you want to cut cable TV, in other words, you just want to keep your internet. Inter internet. Uh, well, what do you do when you want to cut your cable? What do you want to do when uh, uh, the only thing you have really out there in terms of your entertainment is YouTube? Uh, do are any YouTubers out there uh, helping you cut the cable? Are, are they providing you with a show that you might like uh, on these 30 minute basis so you can put the show on? And this is what a lot of people do. Some people, you, you put the TV on, not necessarily simply you're going to sit there and watch TV because you're going to go off and do other things, right? But it's just there in the background sometimes. And this is kind of what this is for. This is, you know, you don't have to be sitting here watching a show the entire time. You can go off and do other things. You can read. You can, uh, you know, you could be sewing. You could be, uh, you know, uh, writing. You could be uh, organizing something, maybe cleaning the room, cleaning the dishes. Uh, wherever your TV is, or where, however you're watching your TV, uh, in other words, you don't have to be simply sitting and watching TV with this. You could do other things, and this is why I set it to a 30-minute episode. And most of these shows here are going to be 30 minutes or more. Uh, the ne the, ne the second segment for the B for BBTRL. This is uh, Big Bang Theory RL. This is the entire show. The first segment here is uh, the BTS vlog. BTS vlog is 30 minutes in length, but there's a second segment called Insta vlogs, which is an hour. And the hour long, the hour long segment, the Insta vlog, are my research notes. They're more in depth. We go into more detail in terms of our topic, uh, and uh, they're like uh, going to school, going to university. As I said, we're aiming here to be uh, like, almost like a PBS type of thing. But PBS deals with uh, topics on a much lower level. They deal with what we call general pub general knowledge or general uh, or a general knowledge is basically uh, second year of university and less. In other words, uh, you're not going to be able to get a university degree by watching uh, PBS. Where watching this channel, watching Cy uh, Cyborg Alpha TV, you could very well bring yourself up to the level of not only not only a, a, a bachelor's degree but up to a PhD. You, this gives you a, 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 it basically presents you with an open university, an open way of doing university, because we're going to give you topics to explore. We're going to give you ideas to think about. We're going to help you expand your mind in ways that are not covered in standard textbooks. This we're, we're going and as I said this in. Uh, InstaVlogs, we're going off textbook. So you see, in, this, in the BTS vlog, behind the scenes, is the raw, uncut, unedited, uncensored notes of what I'm doing around here. So you can see how I do things, how uh, my my research goes along, how I put together my ad hoc notes, because that's how the notes initially started off. They're ad hoc, they're just not organized. They're just, you know, as... I'm doing something, I get an idea or, or something, you know, uh, uh, makes me think of something and I write down that idea and I think something's important, I write down that idea or whatever I've seen, make a note of it. And that's it. And then afterwards you have to go back and organize your notes. You take those ad hoc notes and you organize them. Well, that's what the Insta vlogs are. The Insta vlogs are the organization of my ad hoc notes. And sometimes things are going well, but sometimes, as no, we've been waiting. Mr. Logs for a while because 
I've been having, every time I think I've got the notes organized, I think of a new way to organize them. So it, 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 that reorganization of the notes to meet the new idea uh, often ca causes delays in production. So <laughs> that's where we are now. Today is going to, uh, I've finished, I took today off, uh, I should say I took yesterday off. Uh, and did a lot of sleeping to keep up on my sleep because I finished a lot of sub projects, and I usually do this when I finish finish enough sub enough sub projects to get to a point where there's not really much to do. I have to sit down, we re rework my schedule because I have to bring in new projects now. Enough pro enough of the sub projects are finished that I have to bring in new sub projects now. Uh, I take that period of time to take a day off or so and think about what I want to bring in next. What, what is going to be my next direction? And that's where we are right now. We're at the beginning of a new direction. We're at the beginning of the new level. If you want to go to because we're talking about uh, upgrading uh, is leveling up. And, you know, if we're talking about gaming RL. We're talking about make, turning this and turning your life into a real game. You know, bring the gaming concept into your real life. Because I'm at a, I'm at a, I'm at a, I'm at a workstation here. I've got my computers. I got my TV here. In other words, everything's connected to the internet. This is very much like a video game. That's kind of how I experience the world. So let's, let's turn it into a video game. Okay. So how do you break this up into sub projects? How do you break this up into you know what what is leveling up? Well, I realize that upgrading. Every time you upgrade, you improve your situation here, improves the desk physically. Then you're upgrading. You're leveling up, I should say. So. And I said that upgrading is leveling up. And the thing is, it doesn't have to be upgrading. Doesn't necessarily have to be that that level in terms of getting all new equipment. But it could be something small. It could be, you know, when you finish a, a certain group of sub. Uh, when you finish uh, a certain amount of sub projects and you're moving on to the next level. Well, even though you're not your equipment is not upgrading, but your sub project is finished, then you've leveled up again. So uh, it's just a different level of uh, just a different type of leveling up. And so this is where we are now. We do have to do a lot of reorganizing reorganizing today. And that's what the day is going to be. And maybe what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to take you around with me. So that we can, uh, you know, sort of see a little bit more of the place. Uh, you know, <laughs> and remember, it's a working environment. This environment works. All the areas of it have a particular function, uh, including storage, because you always have to have places to store things. Uh, anyways, uh, I think that's about it for now. Our time has been up for a while. <laughs> so uh, I will see you in the next segment. And until then, take it easy. Be prepared to have what you know challenged by Cyborg Alpha TV Network. <laughs> Here we go again. Uh, the last, uh, well, the last day or so, uh, I haven't been doing much of anything except for organizing and cleaning. So, uh, I'll tell you what's going on. It is six hours and five minutes into the day of Friday, October thirteenth, October third, two thousand fourteen. Yeah, it, it, what happens when when projects, uh, in particular sub projects, finish? And you're starting a new set of sub projects. There's a fair bit of cleaning and organizing that has to be done, and it's sort of like because you've you've done a lot of work, and now you have to pull out old stuff that maybe needs to be brought back in. Like because sometimes sub projects have been on the shelf for a while, and you need to bring things back out again. But also, there's also a, a, a sort of in many ways a mess left over from the from the sub projects you were working on, because you know it's throughout all the place and. You know, you get a whole, and the thing is, you do, in many cases, after sub projects, you do have a bunch of notes that have to be organized. And in this case, because we had an upgrade on the, on the network, uh, the network itself needs to be reorganized and cleaned up and so on and so forth. And that's kind of what's been going on today is that uh, doing odds and ends cleaning, looking for loose ends, things that should have been cleaned up but were never were cleaned up, things that, you know, need to be sort of fixed up or done a little bit more. Uh, also, in this uh, it, it sort of assessment period, 
uh, of where I've been and where we're going, uh, I've looked at the project called, uh, which is basically Cyborg Alpha TV Live. This is the project that I began in uh, July uh, to bring Cyborg Alpha TV Live to make it a 24-hour seven cha uh, you know, a, a channel that's, that's, that's 24 hour day, 24 hours seven days a week. In other words, it's on like CNN. It's on all the time. So you can just go onto YouTube, turn the channel on, just sort of leave it on if you want. Uh, I've been working on that, but as it, a lot of the delays for the Cyborg Alpha TV Live have been network issues, particularly with the upgrade to 14.4. Now, most of these issues have been cleaned up. The network itself has been cleaned up. Uh, it's been reorganized, and I'm just about finished organizing the editing bays. The editing bays still do have to had had some issues on them, but I need to finish the network. Uh, the finish reorganizing the network in order to do that, and I just did that today. I just sort of put the last segment of the network on, uh, put on some uh, a firewall on the extra spaces that I don't need. Basically, what it does, if if there's extra space in the network that I don't need, uh, rather than than keeping it open, I shut it off, and that allows me to sort of protect the network a little more, so I know what's on the network, who's on the network, you know, what, what the devices are on the network, and, I, and only the devices that I know uh, that should be on the network are actually on the network itself. So, uh, that's kind of uh, uh, where we are with these things. The question is now, uh, uh, where do I go from here? And that's sort of uh, what's going to happen, and see what happens tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be an interesting day. It's food shopping. We'll probably go food shopping again, so uh, we'll do that. Uh, I'm also going to try to uh, see, for the music studio, I'm going to try to do some work on there as well. But uh, these things that are, are planned, but they're not necessarily firmly planned yet because I still haven't uh, gone through everything I need to do in my uh, organization in, in sort of the cleaning checklist. I haven't done everything yet. So once that's done, once the whole thing is done, uh, then I can go to these uh, new things, the music studio, I can to the animation studio, and do more work in there. So, uh, otherwise, uh, I'm still working on my IPTV. This is the third version of IPTV. Uh, I'll explain in uh, Ubuntu Be Soon as to tell what's happening with IPTV, the open IPTV environment. Uh, we'll get into the, some of that. So we'll see, we'll, we'll see how things are going to end up going out. Uh, what ends up getting done, what doesn't get end, end up getting done. So, anyways, uh, I will leave this here for now. I will see you uh, in a bit or whenever I can. Uh, the timing is not always accurate. I don't always know exactly when I'm going to come back and vlog again. But, uh... Mm. I'm doing it on a more consistent basis. So, anyways, uh, I'll see you then. <laughs> All right, take it easy. Well, it's uh, just about 7 o'clock on October 3rd, 2014. So, our time and date stamp is going to be 19 hours into the day, uh, Friday, October 3rd. 2014. So, yeah, it's uh, time for it to go. It's time to go food shopping. And let's say uh, a special happy birthday to uh, Paige. She's with three, three top girls. I'll put the link down below. Uh, this is a shout out for her for her birthday. Say happy birthday. Anyways, uh. It's time to go food shopping, and because I don't have a good 1080p camera, this is only 720p, uh, what will happen is that uh, I'll be up converting the 720p to 1080p, and that's how we achieve 1080p. Fortunately, with digital formats and good editing software, you can uh, transcode uh, a uh, 720p video 
to a higher format to a higher HD like 1080p and from the viewer's perspective uh, it's not that bad it's, you know you don't really notice that much of a difference so in many cases I mean it's not gonna be as, this is like a handheld camera so it's not as gonna be as good as, as the Sony camera that I have and that goes without saying <sighs> I'm supposed to be in bed right now. I didn't sleep much today. So, my body is physically exhausted. Uh, there's a lot of studying left to do. There's a lot of studying that I have to do. And that's kind of the issue that uh, uh, sort of creating the fatigue. And as you do your reorganizing, invariably, you find things you want to go and I'm going to go back and take a second look at. Or in case of the third or fourth look. And as these tangents pop up, and they pop into your mind, particularly when you're trying to sleep, well, it wakes you up. You have to go back to your research desk and follow the information through until your mind is satisfied enough that you've got a sufficient answer and now your adrenaline can fall off and you can go back to sleep but unless that actually happens no sleep but the mundane work just checking the time make sure we're alright but the, mun the mundane work food shopping doing the dishes doing the laundry, cleaning your place, etc. Still has to go on. And <laughs> there's no real break from it, so that's just kind of the way you do things. You, you know, you work on things bit by bit. And uh, even if you're tired, if the only way you go out, you, you, the only way you can get out to do food shopping is by walking, that's what you do. And it doesn't matter what the weather is. So you can see how gray it is out. And it's now starting to get dark early, so that probably means we're not going to be able to vlog on the way back, so this is going to gonna have to be it. So, anyways, we're getting to the end of the street. I'm going to have to cross. And that means that's going to be it for tonight in terms of our, our, our shopping and vlogging. And I will see you in another segment, or in the next segment, I should say. Anyways, take it easy. Have a good day, good night, evening, or morning. Whatever it is, what is wherever, whatever it is where you are or at the time you're watching. All right. Bye-bye. Democratic Earth.